A tearful conversion of a Muslim brother from Islamist to Christianity by brother Samuel. Jesus Christ is still a lovely God of peace and awesome Savior. He has never ceased in working out salvation in the life of humanity. He has devotedly and singly manifested physically upon the life of majority in convincing and converting them unto salvation. There is no any other name given unto humanity which we shall be saved Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved Jesus Christ is the only Savior and he still going about today doing wonders as he formerly exhibited during his earthly ministry while on earth. While on earth, he healeth the sick, relieve the oppressed, heal the blind, deaf, and dumb. He always goes about performing divers of miracles and wonders. Recently I seem to lost in thoughtfulness while pondering the reason why he hasn't given up hope on sinners and most especially a pathetic and wicked person like me. Romans 3:23 For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God Proverbs 14:3 Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Even when I assume that hellfire will eternally devour my soul due to sinfulness and the desire of the flesh but mysteriously the Lord our Master Jesus Christ sprout forth and pulled me out from horrible pit of iniquity and not only me, but to majority who are born again, sanctified and filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Psalm 40 2 He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. Nevertheless, if you are a Muslim or unbeliever and still outside the kingdom of God, and yet to accept Jesus Christ or embrace genuine salvation, and you suddenly stumbled upon this article. My beloved I want you to acknowledge that God still loves you and he want you to accept and confess his only begotten son Jesus Christ into life and repent from all wicked lifestyles and sinfulness because to be in Christ is the greatest testimony and encounter you can ever incur in life tearful conversion from Islamist to Christianity. Few weeks ago, I heard a testimony of a Muslim brother known as Brother Samuel, his Christian name, a Palestine citizen who was trained as jihad soldier. He was taught by an Islamist scholar to hate and kill Christians. Jihad soldier killing Christians. However the Muslim brother, Samuel, eventually obtained his salvation when he encountered a Christian brother known as Brother Judge who preached to him and offered him the precious gift of life the Bible. The testimony of the conversion of this Muslim brother from Islamist to Christianity pricks my heart. I almost shed tears when he laments that we Christians don't value and neither knew the benefits and love to have Jesus and why are we hiding Jesus from others, why are we not preaching and advertising the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the exact reason why I am sharing this edifying message to you, my beloved Christians in Christ whom are redeemed and sanctified with the precious blood of the Lamb of God Jesus Christ. However it's unfortunate that most of we Christians have lost the focus for evangelism and zeal for soul winning and now seeking after the present things of this world which passeth away. 1 Timothy 6,6-7 But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. 1 Corinthians 7.31 And they that use this world, as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away this world, as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Most Christians don't give dime about the basic need to proclaim or preach the gospel in their neighborhood. They have lost their first love, zeal, and heavenly focus in evangelism and now getting soaked into worldliness, while today perverse preacher and pastors whose mindset are focused on marriage, prosperity, and wealth creation forsaking the precious gift of life which is an eternal life in heaven. Some Christians in their place of work are afraid, shy, and always feels reluctant to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yet they will keep bearing Christians while the sinners and the entire world in darkness keep sinking into an eternal damnation of hell. This is an unfortunate situation and I pray that below confession of brother Samuel who was converted from Islamist religion to Christianity will enlighten and charges us to speed up our zeal toward global evangelism let go back to below confessional testimony of brother Samuel, former Muslim brother, on the basic reason why we Christians needs to steps up for global evangelism. Quran compel me to kill but the Bible teach me to love. Brother Samuel speaks, 
One day I was walking along the street of Lebanon and a man, brother judge, came to me and starts preaching to me about Jesus. But I was surprised because he was not shy about his Jesus because we, Muslim, believe that we have the truth, we have Muhammad, Allah, and now what is he talking about? I retorted you don't talk to me, I am a good Muslim and also an Imam, why do you come to me? Though, I was astonished because he was not shy or afraid to tell me about Jesus and his love. However I was nervous and also start preaching to him about Muhammad and he said O.K, I want to give you a Bible giving a Bible to unbeliever. When he offered me the Bible I was still intense because I want to know what was written inside the Bible, because as a Muslim we were not allowed to read the Bible. I didn't want to accept the Bible from him because it's very dangerous for me. You're not allowed to read the Bible in Arab country. But now I have understood the reason why every Muslim is not permitted to read the Bible. It's simply because while reading the Bible, God will start opening our eyes to see the enemy that don't want people to know the word of God to the enemy that steal our hope and didn't want us to experience the love of Jesus Christ. The Holy Bible in the Middle East and other Arab nations, they are not permitted to read the Bible because there is power in the Word of God. When we are reading the Bible, God will open our eyes to see the truth. However, I replied and said listen man, I will accept this Bible from you and it's not because I don't believe it's the Word of God but rather because I want to read it and know what my enemy believe I took the Bible from brother judge and hide it inside my jacket. It wasn't easy for me and when I got to the Palestine camp I closed the door and window and for the first time in my life I opened the Bible because I was curious about reason why we Muslim were afraid of reading the Bible. So whenever I return back from the mosque, I will start reading the Bible instead of Quran. Then while reading the Bible I found something strange as it was written according to Matthew 5:44. but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you when I read this part of the Bible I was shocked because my Allah told me in the Quran that I should kill my enemy and now Jesus Christ is instructing me to care and show my enemies love. I was confused and retorted what kind of Jesus is this? My fellow Christians, you might be living comfortably in your free country, but to me accepting Jesus Christ as a Muslim is not easy. My mother confessed to me that I was a shameful son to the family. Even both my brother and sisters hated me and tried to kill me. Now after 16 years I don't live with my family. I have been in jail three times in Lebanon, some had threatened me with guns just because I said Jesus is my Lord and Savior my mom died eight years ago and I wasn't permitted to honor her funeral. It's not easy but if you ask me why am I still walking with Jesus despite all this trial and persecution? My answer is not because I find the truth in the Bible yes I found the truth from the beginning in the Bible, but what keep me now walking with Jesus Christ is because I have tasted how he is to me, his love and how he was useful for me. He is my savior, my lord, my shepherd, my father, and everything to me this is Jesus for me. He changes my life. If I am not with Jesus I would have stand with Isis I don't know where I would have been now. Evangelizing the gospel to a Muslim. But I thank God for brother judge who came to me and preached to me about Jesus. And right now many Muslims are waiting for you as a Christian to preach to them about Jesus. And someday, they will cry out and laments why you didn't tell them about Jesus. I fought against Christians and hated them for 20 years and I was taught to hate and kill them in order to earn a spot in heavenly paradise but despite all those wasted years, no Christian ever preached to me about Jesus Christ except brother judge whom God uses to reach out to me but why? There is lots of Muslim out there without hope and salvation, and you stay behind in your Christian closet feeling shy to preach about your Jesus. My brother and sisters people are waiting for you to tell them about Jesus. I stand here today on behalf of all the Muslim nations to tell you how love and caring is Jesus. But why do you keep Jesus for yourself only? Why? Sobbing. The Muslim deserves to know about Jesus Christ because if not due to the boldness and confident of brother judge who preached to me about Jesus Christ and also offered me his Bible, I won't have known who is Jesus but I thank God for him. 
Please the world is waiting for you Christians to manifest and proclaim the gospel the Muslim is waiting for you to preach to them about Jesus. Waiting for you to preach to them of